So it is 36 degrees outside. It snowed for a few hours this morning. The roads are pretty clear, just wet. Um, but this isn't exactly riding weather for me. I'm taking advantage and just doing a, a full T-clocks on my bike. Uh, I found that my oil's been low, potentially leaking. So I'm going to take it to get its 6,000 mile service next weekend at Hourglass Cycles. Um, today, right now, I... I check the tire pressures, check the coolant levels. I just finished waiting 20 minutes for the um, paraffin to dry. After cleaning and lubing my chain, you can use kerosene or paraffin. Uh, and if you want to see how I actually clean and lube my chain and other stuff like that, um, I'll link to that down below and at the end of this video. Um, but now I'm ready to lube the chain. I also just want to touch it up and because it's a little bit dirty. Um, I want it to look as best as I can when I bring it in for service so they don't think I'm abusing this and call child services on me. As I uh, do all that, I'm going to talk to you guys about why women quit riding. Last time I did this, I got oil like all over my coolant um, tank, reservoir. Coolant reservoir is the proper term. I'm going to take this paper bag that I was sitting on so I wasn't so I don't have a wet butt and put it right behind there. I've seen other people use like a uh, cardboard, which is probably better than this. I only thought about that just now. So that's going to have to do. <sighs> Hopefully that's not too much. Last time I did this, a lot of you told me about some really good things I could buy to make sure I do this accurately. Oh, it smells. And, uh, I forgot about that until just now. Oh, my fingers are already cold. This water is warm. I've been riding for about four or five years now. Um, there was a while actually when I almost quit riding. I'll tell you guys about that one at the end of this video. But first I'm gonna tell you about some of the reasons I've seen other women quit riding. And at least in the short time that I've been riding, not come back. One of the reasons I, I've seen, and what's interesting is, so I used to have a cruiser. Now I, I have a sport bike, obviously. And what's interesting is this specific reason for quitting, I've only seen among cruiser girls. That when they started riding, I, I don't think their heart was really in it. I think they were only doing it for their significant other. And the reason I think that is because they really wouldn't ride without him. Eventually, they just kind of lost interest and stopped riding. So that's probably the most common thing I've seen, specifically among cruiser girls and usually like the older women. So another reason I've seen women quit. Now this one you could argue, it's not really quiz quitting, it's just taking a break. And that's women who have stopped because they had children. The, the ones I know of, they've ridden with their um, baby daddy slash husband or whatever um, before. And it was something they did a lot together. But then obviously the baby came along and takes up a lot of time. So they've sold the bike, but still come to like bike events, keep their friendships with their, their bike friends. The ones I've seen quit for that still have uh, very young babies. So they haven't come around and done the full circle yet. But I do believe that those moms will maybe riding again someday and possibly with their kids. Like maybe they'll start taking their bikes, oh, taking their kids dirt bike riding. Um, that's what I could picture myself doing. I don't know if I want to have kids, uh, but if I do, um, oh, this hand's getting wet holding that. But if I do, I could imagine getting them into dirt biking and obviously I would need to get into that before, preferably before then too. Actually, by the time you guys are seeing this video, I may have already done my first dirt bike day. I don't know what order I'll put that in. Maybe you would have already seen that. I don't know. But anyways. Now, the third reason I've seen women quit riding is probably the weirdest one. The most unexpected. 
I think something that happens, like some biological switch that happens. Another way I think I've seen this happen is my sister, my oldest sister. I have two sisters. One's one years older and one's 11 years older. The one that's 11 years older, she said that she, for like for the longest time that she would never have children. Understandably, because she was made to be me and my other sister's babysitter all the time. And she was really adamant about that. But then she said that she couldn't explain it, but something happened when she turned 30 or 31 or 32, I think she said it was. She said that it was like the switch went off in her head and all of a sudden babies was all she could think about. Now she has two little kids, my niece and nephew, total little rascals. She is just the biggest mom mom in the world. Now to bring that back to motorcycles. Now I've seen this happen before and I haven't seen a turnaround. Now it's some women not necessarily get suddenly want to have kids and then stop riding but it's like like my sister said like the switch goes off in their head one of the guys in my jiu-jitsu class was talking about how his wife was like this how she used to be really wild and adventurous all of a sudden she just stopped she suddenly like had all these uh worry worrying instincts and there are all these cracks and dirt i see that i can't get into and now my reason why I almost quit riding, my second year of riding, I was still a noob, obviously, only one year and I wasn't commuting on my bike. I was only riding like on the weekends, so I was still not very advanced. And what happened was I got another bike. I got the um, Triumph Bonneville and physically, at stationary especially, I couldn't handle it. It was really difficult to even just take off the kickstand. Really difficult to like back up and walk into like a parking spot or back out of a parking spot. And uh, I had so many times where I either dropped it or almost dropped it because it was just so heavy for me. I'm curious to see what it would be like though after I... T uh, Jerry Palladino like did not give up on me and had me practice and practice and practice on his huge Harley. I'd be curious to see how, how I did on that now. But for me, getting the wrong bike for my body type and experience level made me not enjoy riding. And I, for a while there, I thought maybe riding just isn't for me. Well, I guess actually that's not just, that one isn't just women. That, that can happen to anybody uh, who gets a bike that isn't great for them. I have this toothbrush. Let's see if that'll work for the really hard to reach spots. Oh yeah, this is working. Okay, this is not working that well actually. Okay, there's still like so many nooks and crannies where this is dirty. I mean like my fiance, he started riding when he and I were just friends or he says dating, but debatable. He, after about six months or so, he decided it just wasn't for him. So he sold his bike and um, obviously I'm still riding. It's become more of like a girl's night or a solo night day for me whenever I go for a ride instead of something we do together. Although we'll see if he likes dirt biking and maybe, maybe we'll do that together. But if not, oh well, I like him for him. <laughs> I'm wearing Ugg boots and my toes are cold. So I'm gonna get going. I got a friend's party to go to and I will see you in the next one.